Hi, my name is Mark Bruce. I'm the uh, customer development manager here in North America. Uh, Red Arc Electronics have been around for 40 years this year. Today, we employ over 200 people. We, uh, we have a multi-million dollar manufacturing facility based in South Australia. We, we manufacture products to some of the largest names in the country, um, whether that be trucking or whether that be caravan and camping. Um, we pride ourselves in a quality product. When you buy Red Arc, you buy it once. Uh, look, it's, it's a fabulous, fabulous community here in the US and now we've got real presence and that's getting stronger and stronger every day. So trailer brake controllers, we often refer to them here in the US as knee knockers because they mount underneath the dashboard of your vehicle and they get in the way. Whether it's your wife's dress or your, your arms or your, your, your knees. Um, but a, another big problem is the new vehicles nowadays have lower leg airbags. So um, trying to mount these products into a modern day vehicle, we're restricted because we can't mount them where we would traditionally mount a trailer brake controller. So some years ago now in Australia, we brought out the Topro Elite Brake Controller. It gives you an OE look and feel product that mounts on the dash into a spare switch panel and all you see on the dash is the control. All of the electronics is hidden up underneath the dashboard of your vehicle. You don't see that. So this display unit here can demonstrate how I can use a brake controller um, by simply, I'm traveling down the road, I place my foot on the brake pedal. The more power I, I place on the vehicle brakes, the more power I'm sending through to the brakes on the trailer. And we can see the intensity of the lights increase on the trailer, from the vehicle to the trailer. So what that's doing, inside this device is a three axis accelerometer that measures the braking force being applied in the vehicle. And then proportionally, that will supply braking power to your trailer, so it works as one. It's smooth. Now, if we're traveling down the road and we're down, going down the highway at 65 and the trailer starts to give you sway, the last thing you want to do is place your foot on the brake. What you're supposed to do is accelerate and that stretches the trailer away from, the, from your truck. Now, the problem with doing that is you're doing 65 and it can be quite intimidating for somebody to be um, speeding up from 65 whilst they're towing a trailer and with the trailer going from side to side. So brake controllers, they have an override feature. So rather than trying to reach underneath the dashboard, trying to find your, uh, your slider control for your, uh, your override, all you do with the Red Arc system is simply press that button. In the event of a sway, I press that button, it applies the brakes on the trailer independent of the brakes on the vehicle, bringing the trailer into line behind the vehicle, keeping you in control. Now, what our product has that no other brake controller has is an off-road mode. Now, a user-controlled mode. And what that enables you to do is if you're going off-road, you can pull over before you get into the sand, the mud, or the snow. We turn the controller to zero. We place our foot on the brake, and we press the button twice. The green LED signifies I'm now in user-control mode. Now, with the controller at zero, and I'm traveling across the sand, and I'm placing my foot on the brake, the vehicle brakes are working, but there's no brakes happening on the trailer. So the trailer is not digging in like an anchor, like they would do if you're on the soft stuff. Now, same too, if I'm going down some steep embankments with my heavy trailer on the back, and I want to have a little bit more control of my downhill descent, I can crank up a little bit more power in the user control mode. So when I'm going down this hill and I place my foot on the brake, I've got a little bit more energy happening in the trailer than I have on the vehicle, and that controls my descent a lot safer. Now, I get back to the street, to the roads, I turn the controller to zero, I place my foot on the brake and press the button twice. The blue LED signifies I'm now in proportional mode, fully automatic mode. I put it back to where it was comfortable, and then when I'm driving down the road, the more power I apply in the vehicle, will supply the, the proportional amount of power to that of the trailer.
Okay, so this is our Red Arc Topro Elite brake controller. Let's just see how easy it is to install into your vehicle. Now the main unit, the brains of the brake controller, needs to be mounted up underneath the dashboard in a secure location. It can't be mounted to a harness that's going to vibrate around. It must be screwed or cable tied to a solid bracket so it's not going to move. It must be tight. It doesn't matter which angle you mount it, once installed the Topro will work that out and calibrate itself. So to mount that up underneath the dashboard, how long do you think? Five minutes? We're at five. Now the switch, we've got to mount that on the dashboard. Now a lot of people have spare switch blanks on the dashboard, but a lot of people now think that mounting it in the center console will make it a real nice installation. So by using our universal Topro switch mount, we can simply drill a round hole in the center console, mount the switch in behind that switch panel, and then we screw our nut on the, on the front of it in the switch blank, turn the controller to zero, get the control knob and line up the zero with the LED light. And then when we turn it back to number five, red arc must be horizontal. Then we know we got it mounted and connected correctly. And then we can simply almost push that back into the hole that you've just drilled. But before we do that, we got to connect the cable to the switch. Now simply, connect the switch with the ethernet cable that's included in the kit and then we thread that cable through to where you mounted the controller now if you need a longer cable you can simply go to a Walmart or uh, one of your uh, stores that sell the uh, the ethernet cables and purchase a longer one if you need to but I think in most in instances you'll find that this one is long enough so maybe that's a, another five minutes so what we're at ten 10 minutes then to connect it to your vehicle um, a lot of the American vehicles have a connector plug up underneath the dashboard so you can simply use our factory fit adapter to connect the Red Arc Topro to your original vehicle now this one here is for uh, F-150s and 250s and 350s and so on and so forth so we simply plug this in into the Topro and then plug this in into the factory Topro harness, the electric brake harness that's on your vehicle. I think I've just done a brake controller installation in less than 15 minutes. Now with the Topro Elite you get lots of really great instructions. Now within the instructions we also have a mirror hanger so the customers when they pick up their vehicle can read how to use the brake controller. It makes a really nice addition to a job well done. Now, we also get a bumper sticker. We all know we like bumper stickers. And in the instructions, it's nice and easy, easy to understand how I install the brake controller. With uh, wiring diagrams to show you how the unit looks to how you should mount it, what's good, any orientation, remember that. Wiring instructions on how to wire it, if you have to do a hard wire, if there isn't an OE plug to, to uh, connect to, how you install the switch if you're not using one of our switch blanks, how to use the controller, nice and easy, how to read the different LEDs, green means user controlled, and blue means automatic proportional brake controlling without forgetting our system can also work with electric over hydraulic brakes most boat trailers have electric over hydraulic brakes so you don't have to choose a separate mode to work with electric over hydraulic it will just simply work you just connect your boat and go and one of the great great advantages of using the Topro Elite is we have a range of fault codes. So if your, if your uh, switch control starts flashing a code, you can refer to the manual and they'll tell you what's going on. Excellent. Topro Elite. Australian made, two year warranty.